Hashtag stay peculiar. The, that already got a lot of buzz before the movie even came out. Why do you think the world is embracing diversity now more than ever? Well, you hope it is. It's, it's an interesting dynamic with the way uh, technology has come out, because on some levels it's embracing diversity more, and in some ways it's yeah. doing it less. You know, that people are able to kind of anonymously say horrible things to people. You know, it's, it's quite fascinating. So it, it's very strange to see things going in opposite directions. So you can look at it both ways, which I find quite fascinating, and it's quite hard to know what it really means because it's so new. Mm -hmm. I love that the movie points out how unique everybody is. What makes you unique? What is your peculiarity? Well, I don't really think about it. I, all I know is I've been called that, and I never really felt that way to begin with. So it's not some, at first I took it as a sort of an insult, you know. But then after a while you just take it as a compliment, you know, and because most people, the peculiar people I know, are usually very sensitive and quiet and kind of loners and kind of you know, feel things and have some creativity somewhere, and you know, and so I, I always find those people like people I identify with. Mm -hmm. And this is based on a novel by Ransom Riggs. Why did you feel, why, why did you feel that this material is perfect for you to make a movie about? Well, because just what we're talking about, it's got all the themes of being labeled as peculiar, the theme of family and having somebody in your family like a grandfather or grandmother or somebody who inspires you and then, and then just that feeling that Jake has as a teenager where you um, you know where you just feel like you don't belong in your world and you you think you're seeing things and maybe you're crazy and uh, you know so all that kind of stuff is just something that that, 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 that just sort of feelings I've had from long time. Mm -hmm. I also love that y the heroes in your story are children. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I like the fact that, you know, the kids, although, the, you know, they're peculiar, they're, 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 I never thought they, they're, they're not like superheroes. They're just children that happen to have their own peculiarities, which is something that I really liked. And Jake, you know, he's sort of the hero of the movie, but he's not like an action hero. He's like, he's like a regular guy. He's like mm -hmm. a person. I remember, you know, so this guy who's like having to, who's basically an internal, quite sensitive, shy person is having to kind of do all this stuff and fight monsters and things. So I really like this sort of aspect of it because it looks at this sort of traditional superhero or action movie kind of things, but in a, in a, in a different angle. Mm -hmm. But even your monsters in this movie have have a kind of a heart. So <laughs> <laughs> talk a little bit about the, the heart or the love that you have for your monsters. Well, I mean, everybody is a monster in some ways. You know? I mean, and, <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. It's, that's the interesting thing about terminology. You know, when you say monster, most people think of something bad. But if you say monster to me, I think of like Frankenstein or King Kong or a creature mm -hmm. from, and they're, I, I, I feel emotion. I don't feel like horror. Mm -hmm. And there is a time loop, so they, the children relive a day, a particular day in, in, in their lives. If the, you could have a, one particular day that you can relive again and again and again. I wouldn't. Why would you not? Because every day is filled with so many ups and downs. You know, I can't even remember, like, I used to go home and somebody would ask me, how was your day? And I, I would blank out because I would say, well, I don't know, like, 20 horrible things happen, two good things happen, four, you know, it, it, it's like my brain starts to short circuit. So I don't think I've ever had a day where I would go, you know, I can't think of one, you know, because it's so comprised of so many different issues and things. And Miss Peregrine is giving the kids shelter, safety. Yes. What is your safe place in your life? Well, I think you just, you, it has to be yourself, you know, mm -hmm. th but that can also be the most dangerous place as well. So <laughs> it's always a conflict, you know, that's why I like these things that are, have conflicting sort of imagery or conflicting sort of themes, because that's to me the way it is. I would love to spend one day in your mind. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't? I wouldn't. No, you would not. <laughs> I guarantee you. I'll give you a couple of tickets to Disney World. How's that? Instead. I take them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you.